I'm back! Hi everyone! I'm so excited to be finally back and filming in my studio or my bedroom. I've been gone for six weeks and I'm finally home again. I just arrived a couple of days ago, two, three days ago, and I've been everywhere around in Croatia and in Sarajevo a couple of weeks and yeah, I'm back at home, new haircut, new hair color, a little bit sweaty because it's so hot here in Sweden and with lights on, I can tell you it's very, very hot. So today I'm very excited, I know, before I start, I'm sorry, before I start this video I want to apologize for everyone, I know I have a giveaway on or it's not on but I give away and I have to pick up a winner but I really really wanted to wait be uh, when I came back home from the vacation because I had some internet problems over there in uh, Sarajevo and Croatia so I couldn't pick the winner but I will definitely do it uh, now and I'm going to uh, tell you the next week who the winner is. I also had many videos and uh, pre-filmed also filmed during my vacation some of them are already finished and ready to be uploaded but the internet was very bad and I couldn't upload it when I was on my vacation so those videos are all coming up and that's the reason why you haven't seen any of my videos for last two weeks I'm sad because I already had videos prepared, I already had theme, I already had products with me and I filled a couple of them but the internet just didn't work all the time and I couldn't upload the videos so they are going to be on my channel so I want to apologize for everyone for all of my subscribers and my family and say I'm really really so sorry that I haven't uploaded any videos for the last two weeks but 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 I promise you there are some good products I'm going to talk about and some good videos that are coming up so if you all haven't subscribed please do that and of course I'm going to pick a winner next week and I already prepare for next, another giveaway, maybe my birthday giveaway in September, you never know. So, guys, whew, I'm so hot. I, I just bef need to fix my hair a little bit. This is my new brush. This is from Kent, a brand. Love this brush. This is the best brush that I've ever tried. My hair is so thin and uh, fragile, breaks very easy. So this brush takes hair takes care of my hair that it doesn't pull. I love it. So how today? I have so many products here. So this is going to be a very different video from my others. So okay guys I have so many new products I want to review and try out and do a first impression video of or my favorite, my least favorite products. I have been trying out a couple of products but I also ordered so many pro new products that I want to try out and I want to show you guys what kind of products are coming up on my channel. So <laughs> I was so excited and really interested to try this Foria Magic Eyeshadow Stamp Crease that uh, is going around on uh, Instagram and it looks amazing. So this is not the real one, I don't think so. Uh, but I'm going to try that. Not today, in today's video. I don't know how you do it. Hmm, maybe it will work. But I'm definitely going to try it. I also have new uh, face mask. I have also this uh, All Day Idol Stay 24 Hour lipstick primer that I want to try, two new mascaras I want to try, one is from Essence that I bought in Croatia and also one from um, Cat Lash Design, this is from Paris Berlin. I also bought, I don't own any glitter primer so I bought one from Essence, haven't tried it either couple of lip liners from Essence 2. Also I bought new products, new lipstick, fantastic, fantastic lipsticks from uh, Linda Halberg that I'm going to review also. The brushes, her br eyeshadow, the eye kit brushes, powder puff. I have, I didn't realize that there is already a powder puff in the kit but I'll probably put this one in a giveaway, future giveaway. Also a new 
Linda Halbert sponge. <sighs> Guys, I have to show you this. This is a basket full of new products that I want to review and try out. A couple of them are the new, that finally came to Sweden, the new L'Oreal cher Cherry my cherry from L'Oreal. This, I've been waiting for tr to try this. Also, um, uh, palettes from NYX that I've been uh, hunting for months. This ultimate multi-finish shadow palettes in uh, Sugar High and Warm Rust. All of the chocolate lipsticks from L'Oreal. I'm going to do a video with those too. Some new brushes from Ofra Cosmetics. Also, for me, kind of weird sponges, face or product applicators. I want to try from Echo Tools. New brush set. Yeah, there are a couple of more products in here. Highlighters, blushes. Yeah. A lot of products in here that I'm going to review in the future, of course. But today, 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 I decided that I'm going to try one of the NYX palettes. And this is, no, not this one. I want to try this multi-finish shadow palette in Sugar High. Now, NYX palettes are available, available here in Sweden, but exactly this one and the other one, uh, this warm rust, were very hard to find and I couldn't find them. So when it finally arrived on a website, when I was on my vacation, I ordered them and I begged my sister to pick up the package so it won't be sent back while I was gone. So she did that. Thank you, honey. Love you. And I saw Tati, I think, or Kathleen Light. I'm not really sure which one of, which one of, them try this palette first smells bad but they try this palette and everybody loves uh, this palette and I like NYX eyeshadows but I haven't found any palette that I really really loved so when I saw this on the um, one of the videos I think that Tati I loved how she created the makeup look with these shades and I wanted this palette but I couldn't find it so I'm definitely going to try it today so I won't swatch it. I won't swatch the whole palette. Oh, they feel very creamy. Oh my God, this is absolutely going on my eyes today. And I also ordered a couple of other eyeshadow palettes that I'm not going to tell you right now, but I'm going to do a video about them. And yeah, so let's start, let's chit chat and let's put some makeup on this face. So first I'm going to use a little bit of this Photo Finish Primerizer Smashbox Primer. Guys, I have to tell you that I actually, or be honest, I have to be honest, I did take some um, makeup with me while I was gone for six weeks, but actually I haven't used it so much. I maybe had makeup on two times during the, my six weeks of vacation skin let my skin breathe and i didn't have any makeup maybe mascara two three times foundation i only wore two times and i have to say i'm so glad that i bought the wrong shade of this uh, lancome's foundation tent idol ultra wear because the ones that were right color were too light i uh, first week while i was with my mom in vodice i bought I took this foundation with me because I love it, but I didn't thought that I would have tan. So when I put that foundation on one day, I looked like a ghost. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, so I was glad that I, when I came home for two days and then left for four more weeks on the vacation, I finally, I took this one with me and I was glad because the Two times that I wore makeup, I wore this one. So I'm also going to pr take this Prep and Prime Pore Refining Stick that I'll be using. I didn't wear makeup, but I did use this just to minimize my pores a little bit. And I do like this primer. Spread it around. Oh, I missed filming, guys. I really missed filming. I missed you. Oh. I couldn't watch any of your videos because the internet was so bad. 
because I couldn't watch any of your videos and I was so sad. I couldn't comment on your comments. I couldn't do anything. So, but I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm home. I kind of didn't want to come home because I had some amazing time over there and I, oh, it was so beautiful, but everything has to end. So, what did you do during this summer? Please let me know. I went one week to Croatia with my mom, just two of us, and we had some amazing time. We went to Vodice. And then I came home, I think it was Saturday. And on Tuesday, me and my husband and uh, my children, we went to Sarajevo. And we were there for a week. Then we took a car and we went to... And we drew to Podgora in Croatia and we stayed there for 10 days. And then uh, the rest of the time, the 10 days we had left, we stayed in Sarajevo. We had some, the weather wasn't the best. I'm used to more warmer days than it was this year, but it wasn't bad either. I mean, I don't complain. And uh, we had some amazing time. I really, really relaxed. We had some amazing time and I did relax. I enjoyed every day over there and I missed my home. I missed filming, but guys, I also didn't want to come home, <laughs> to be honest. God, I forgot how it feels to have makeup on. Now, before concealer, I really, really want to prime my eyes because I feel like my oily, like my eyelids are very oily. So I'm going to use this Milani eyeshadow primer in uh, this separated look Ugh. I think I need to shake this or something like I said my internet didn't work in Sarajevo it we did had internet but it was so slow so I couldn't watch any videos but uh, in Croatia I did had internet sometimes um, so I could uh, I think I uploaded one video over there and I did have, and I do have videos ready, but I couldn't upload them. So when I, when I came home, I didn't want to upload any of them because I wanted to do this video first and tell you guys that I'm back and you're going to see me on vacation again on this channel, but I'm going to put those videos later on. So you're going to see what I prefer pre-filmed. Uh, we're going to take concealer, double wear. And I'm so excited to try uh, the Linda Halberg's lipsticks. And they are called Fan Fantastics. And you can use them as blush or as lipstick. And I really are, am interested to see how that is going to work. Because I don't... It looks like a balm lipstick i don't know when i look at the pictures pictures on the website really really want to try them because i heard good things about lipsticks those lipsticks so i'm very excited i'm definitely going to film that video after this one i'm going to set everything actually i'm going to bake and i'm going to bake with this laura messier powder and i really want to try the huda beauty baking powder no now i know there are so many things going around about those powders i do agree that the campaign looks very similar to the beauty bakery beauty bakery or what they called so i do agree with that but i really really want to try the setting powder i really don't know what shade i will buy but maybe try a couple of shades to see which suits my skin best because like you said, like you see, I do have a tan right now, and in the winter I get so light, so I don't know. Did you try that powder? If you did, what do you think about it? Is it worth the money? Really, really want to get it. Get it and forget it. Okay, so it's time for eyebrows. Oh, did I set my... I don't know. I think so. It's time for eyebrows, and I'm going to use pomade in medium brown. I really enjoy this one too. I also like Revolution one.
I forgot how to do my eyebrows. I really forgot how to do this. This is what happens when you take two long breaks. So guys, what do you want to see in my next giveaway? Is there any product that you are and want me to put in my future giveaway? giveaway? Please let me know because I want to do that for you guys to pick up a couple of products that you choose. So take some All Revolution Concealer and fix my eyebrow. Can't find, where is the brush? I should try the other new brushes, but I'm too lazy to pick them up, to take them out. Oh, I can use this one. So they are not twins, but they are totally, they are totally sisters. So the brow gel from Tanya Crooks. It's not my favorite, it's okay. It's almost empty. So guys, I'm going to take, no, I'm not going to take off the bake. I'm going to actually to try the palette. Let's go into the palette. Let's go into the palette. And lay away all my eyeshadows, our brushes. So I can't find my brush, brushes that I took with me on my vacation, but I'm going to try this new, the new couple of new brushes that I bought. This is all for professional makeup brush number 21 from Ofra. So I'm going to take this color, the first one, all over my lid. Doesn't have much of the kickback. It's, it's a very good brush for the... I'm going to take this one in my crease as, a, as my transition shade with the same brush. I like this brush. I love this brush for my crease. And then I'm going to take the first shade that I had all over my eyelid, the lightest one, and just blend more up here. Then I'm going to take uh, this shade here, also in my crease with the same brush, but I'm not going to bring it that high. I'm just going to put it in my crease and blend it. Oh, this blends like a dream, guys. Have you tried this palette? Ooh, I like it. I'm really into pink eyeshadows right now. I don't know why. I'm scared of using them because I look, I feel like I look like somebody punched me in the eye. But I think it looks so beautiful on other people. And I really, really am very interested in these shades but i'm scared or too scared to use them don't ask me why i just am but i really really want to i'm really into them so i'm going to i don't care how i look <laughs> i do not and then with the same brush of course because i really like this brush i should probably buy a couple more of these brushes i'm going to use the dark purple one but really concentrate just here Then I think I'm going to try this brush number 11 from Ofra and take this second pink all over my eyelid, except the at the end here. Let's see how this is. Oh, this is applying nice. This I should have applied very nice with the brush. I'm also going to use this brush again and apply this shade and you want to try it but I'm going to apply it here I should wear it or something let's take it with my finger yeah that works much much better okay so this looks kind of good but I need a new brush I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm actually going to take, I'll take this shade on a flat brush 
but I'm going to bet it this time. Take some fix plus. Now I know why people love it so much. The eyeshadow looks a little bit chunky when you pick it up in the pan, but I don't mind. I think this eyeshadow is pretty good. So I'm happy I got it finally. I took wrong eyeshadow. No, I didn't want that white. So I'm going back to the second shimmer shade again because that's the shade I wanted, but I picked up the wrong shade, of course. Okay, I'm gonna mix those two, mix those two together. So I'm going to go back into this matte shade here and put it more in my crease. The same brush, Ofra 21. I'm definitely buying more of these brushes. I love this one. Okay. Then I'm going to clean this number 11 brush and I'm going to take uh, this shade, this one, the second one. So guys, I'm going to tell you that I did bought the Paradise Collection from Ace Beauty, I think it's called. And I bought all four eyeshadow palettes and I'm very excited, can't wait for them to arrive. And that's an indie brand, I haven't tried anything from them before. They do have eyelashes and I think they have another palette. Uh, this is the second palette, second palette collection that comes out, or not collection, they, already, they only had one palette before. And it looks like this one is more blended than this one. Let's put more of that purple here and uh, I heard mixed reviews some people love those eyeshadows some people don't like them and they're all kind of expensive 34 90 I think around 35 dollars for every palette each palette but of course if you buy all four of them together you get you save some money I don't remember how much and uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited, but also scared because the shipping was kind of expensive to Sweden, I have to say. So I'm going to take uh, this shade here. I feel like my camera is still on the vacation because it's continued turning off all the time. So I'm going to take off the powder, I'm sorry. So, and I'm going to contour with this palette. And then I'm going to bronze with this Rebecca Stella Sun Kiss, this Rebecca Stella Peachy Bronzer. I love this bronzer. It suits me perfectly with this tan that I have. And it's actually more pigmented than the one that I took with me, the Wet n Wild one. When I was wearing makeup one day, I tried to build up the coverage color from that bronzer but didn't want to show up on my skin right now because it's a little bit too light for me right now so I'm glad that I have this one but I didn't have it with me and I was on the vacation and I did went to buy some makeup but I found many brands that I never heard about and um, can, some of them were cheap some of them were expensive but I don't know why I didn't buy anything to try I don't know why I, maybe because I knew that I ordered so much makeup that I want to try it and I didn't want to put more money in product that I don't know how they're going to work and on the brands I never heard about from heard, heard about so that's the reason why so and for the blush I'm going to take actually I need a light one I'm going to take this Kardashian Beauty Radiant Vibe Dombre Cheek Color I like this brush blush Let's take that one and smile. 
You're a candy camera. Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Rose Gold. I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use this uh, Colourpop Laurel, Laurel Lee and Colourpop Lip Bundle collection that she came out for a couple of months ago. And I heard they are going to do another collab. I'm going to take this one. This is in uh, Wham Ultra Glossy Lip. A little bit too much. And then I'm going to set everything with one of my new favorite setting sprays. This is Fix uh, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Mad. I love this setting spray. I can say I didn't wear my makeup a lot or at all, but I did set my skin with this setting spray when I was very oily and I love it. This makes everything just melt into the skin, melt together, look flawless and beautiful all day long. And of course do that before, set your face before you put mascara on because if you don't do that, you get, what's wrong? Oh, I broke my mirror. Why? Look what I did. <sighs> Stupid Ida. So I'm going to curl my lashes and I'll be right back. So guys, I did use my favorite mascara right now, except the L'Oreal Paradise. This is, where is it? It's uh, the one from Clinique, High Impact Mascara. I know I said when I tried this, the not first time, but I know when I tried this in a video where I bought all um, beauty winners, Kix beauty winners of 2018. I, and I know I said I didn't like it when I tried it first time, but when I tried that, this mascara on that video I just loved it and I've been using it and I've been loving it so I know this is a beautiful mascara it's one of my favorite three coats and I love it so guys I hope you like this video please let me know if you want to see anything on my channel what do you want to see uh, I want to do a q, uh, q a video but I don't know what I'm going to talk about please put some questions down below if you want me to answer them Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I promise I will uh, come back soon with the winner for my giveaway and soon with another giveaway. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.